let us discuss about one shortcut approach on profit and loss in profit and loss we can find some questions wherever multiple transactions have been given in percentage format and we need to link them all and if we can link them all as a smallest integers then it would be definitely much easier not that much calculation get involved we will take one such question in this question we can say that there are multiple people like first of all we can see that manufacturer uh, a manufacturer who sells his product to retailer manufacturer retailer there is some profit given and that retailer to shopkeeper shopkeeper to customer so this way different information and one of the data is absolute data raised to the percentage so approach for this kind of question all percentage changes that we will take it here i have written all of them like manufacturer retailer shopkeeper and customer now one by one information first information it is a 30 percent profit manufacturer sells it as a 30 percent profit to the retailer now whenever we see this one this 30 percent profit 30 percent is nothing but 3 by 10 as a fraction all we will try to bring in this format so it is 3 by 10 30 percent that means manufacturer if it is at 10 so 3 will be the profit so retailer it would be 13 if it is 10 it would be 13 Now the next, who sells these to shopkeeper at a loss of 10%. So here 10% loss and 10% as per the fraction, it is 1 by 10. Now 10% loss, a retailer, if it is 10, then the shopkeeper, it should be 9. Now if I link them, these uh, three of them, then we can find it should be written as 100. Uh, no, next one I need to write. So I don't have that much of space. So writing here 100, this would be 130, and this would be 3 into 13. That means 117. And then 25% profit, which is given 25% profit, it has been uh, from shopkeeper to customer so 25 percent one fourth one fourth that means shopkeeper if it is four it should be one less no it should be one more five now we need to link these uh, values like here first of all first three taken together it is the value And now 117 into 4, it should be the shopkeeper value, together values, and customer value, it should be 117 into 5. So it should be nothing but uh, 585. This is 585. And what is man manufacturer cost price at that point of time? This would be 400. Now, what is given? given that customer sells to customer at a rupees of 585 so basically this 585 same thing and once it is same that means it would be 400 my answer it remained 400 which is the manufacturer cost 400 answer so by this way linking this data is highly possible